We welcome in Anscape's Mark Spears. Mark, you had a great piece up on Anscape about Devin Booker wanting his respect. And Booker surprised a lot of NBA fans and, and frankly, the officials by returning to the lineup for game six against the Pelicans after severing a hamstring injury just nine days prior. So what's the Sun's level of confidence for their series against the Mavs with Devin Booker nearing full strength? Well, he actually wanted to play in game five and they held him out. He said this morning that his hamstring feels great. Uh, they got a lot around the clock treatment since Thursday and he's ready to go. So DeAndre Ayton told me he's like, man, a healthy book is a scary book. And I think he averaged like 40 against the Mavs. Uh, it wasn't quite that. He averaged 23 against uh, the Mavs in the regular season. And uh, but if respect is what he's looking for and, and he's the Suns deserve really feel like he's not getting that. You're getting, you're getting to play against Luka. <laughs> you're getting to defend Luka. So if there's one way that a guy that led the Suns to 64 wins and led him in scoring to get the respect that he deserves is to get the better of Luka in the second-round matchup. In this piece, you, you referenced a perceived lack of respect for Booker. D does Phoenix feel like they're getting the respect a defending conference champion deserves? No. <laughs> N not in the least. It, I mean, you could put uh, Book on that list, Coach Williams, James Jones, Chris Paul. He's too focused. He's, you know, eating vegan food. He's not so much worried about that. Um, but, yeah, we don't We don't even have a – so unnoted to me, ESPN doesn't even have anybody that covers the Suns on a regular basis. And they just went to the West Finals. I'm like, hey, that's a bigger problem than me. But I'm going to read you this book quote that he told me. He said, winning a championship is something – I want more than anything in life. I dreamed about the finals as a kid, mm. but now it's reality and I have to make it happen. And if the Suns make it happen, they'll get all the respect that they deserve. Absolutely, Mark. An image that sticks in my mind is Devin Booker walking out of Pfizer Forum last year. His eyes were toward the ground, and you could just tell he wanted to be back on that stage as soon as possible with a different result. For much more on Mark's reporting on Devin Booker, please head over to Anscape.com. I'm still here, though, with Ramona Shelburne. And Ramona, we've talked a lot about Luca. Yep. What are the Mavs expecting from him on this enormous stage, the biggest that yeah. he's been on in his career? It's the biggest stage for him, and I think the big question in this series is how do the Suns defend Luka. Do you put Mikael Bridges on there, second in Defensive Player of the Year yeah. vote? But the Suns like to switch everything, and so there's going to be some fun chess pieces that move around on this on, on, in this series, because if you put Bridges on him, sure. then they hunt for the switch. It reminds me a bit of last year when the Clippers were playing against the Mavs in the first round. They had Kawhi Leonard. You don't bring out Kawhi early on, because you need him for the rest of the game. The Clippers would switch, and then finally Kawhi would switch. By the end of the series, Kawhi was on him. By the end of the series, you got to have your best <laughs> defender on him. Yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.